By now you've probably realized that ChatGPT is one of the great leap forwards in AI. So what I wanted to do is run you through how to use Prompt Toolbox to help you better use uh, ChatGPT. So the first thing I'm going to do is run a search. Say you want to make a new blog post, but you're a bit hungover and you're lacking inspiration. You can just type in blog and it'll give you a bunch of possible things that you could do. So you say you wanted to have a blog to explain a topic. Explain the topic. Um, yeah, why not? Chemistry. You can type in chemistry and say, can we talk about chemistry? And just copy and paste all of these prompts here. The reason why it's not just one prompt and three prompts is turns out if you do one, two, three, you get a much better result. So that's how to actually use it to do something. The next thing I want to show you is how to fork it. Say you've got a much better idea of how to do your prompts or you've been experimenting with the edit button and you found a better way. You can click this fork button over here and it will create a new prompt that you can edit. So perhaps you want to say, you are the world's expert in chemistry. Actually, a better thing to do would be to copy the topic here. So we'll get rid of that and we'll put in topic. So you are the world's expert in topic. Can we talk about topic? Then you hit save. And then if you look at your forked thing, now when you copy and paste, you have the, the new edit there. So if we were to change this to chemistry, click generate, there you go. Now you click copy, you've got all these different things there. Okay, that's, that's part one and part two. Next, I want to show you how to do a new prompt. I have to zoom out a bit so that my button comes back. Yep. Click new prompt and you want to say, okay, I feel like I want to make a new prompt about writing homework. Write my homework. Click create. The first thing you're going to do is get the form edit. And in this particular case <coughs> for homework, <coughs> you might be assigned a topic and say, what is your homework topic? And then you've got a choice, really text or text area. The other ones don't work yet. So if we just do text, because it's a short thing. If it was like a, you know, you're going to rewrite a blog post, or something like that, you pick text area, but we're just going to use text. Then you click add. Now you have your text field here. I'll just give you an example of what happens if you decide to add more fields. Uh, you can move them up, you can move them down. Um, there's quite a lot of freedom here, even though it looks admittedly quite ugly. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this one. We don't need that. And next we wanna to go to the prompt editor. So we'll add a prompt and you'd say, All right, a 500 word essay about topic, save. And then you're like, oh, I decided that if I do this, it's gonna be the exact same as everybody else in my class. So I want to change it to be, um, make it in the style of a 12th grader, save. And then for extra, extra non looks like it came from GPT. Um, we'll say, uh, make the tone conversational. And next time that you're, you know, one hour before your homework is about to be submitted, you can go to your prompt and say, oh, what's my topic? Oh, it's going to be mathematics. Okay, let's quickly go and make a new prompt about mathematics. Oh, yeah, I'm in a hurry. Ooh. And then it's going to be a 500 word thing and you're going to make it look maybe not like it just came from ChatGPT. It's maybe just like a little bit different from everybody else's. So when the teacher looks at your, your homework, you're going to be like, oh, this is slightly different from everybody else's. Maybe they didn't use ChatGPT. Anyway, you can also edit the form here. 
and go back to your thing, edit the prompt. Uh, you can also just explore what other people have come up with. And as you can see, uh, create forks if you think you've got a better way of doing it. There you go. I'm going to be making lots of uh, improvements to this, hopefully, in the days and weeks and months ahead. So hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>